Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this, the third in the series of A Quickie with Dave, I'm going to show you some cheap and budget rigging options for the Huawei Y6 2018. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show a bunch of options for doing vlogging and stuff, so basic rigging for your Y6 2018. What I'm going to do is just like mount these things really quickly and give you a really good idea of what they are and some basic pricing. Anything that I use here, if you check the links in the description, you'll find links to Amazon for these things as well. So first up is this, which is the Filmmaker Grip by Newer. And basically what this is, it's a very simple device. It's got a little clamp thing here for locking the phone in. It's also got a shoe mount in the top. It's got a quarter 20 mount here as well, and also a quarter 20 underneath. It has this little tiny handle, which is also removable. And when you take this off, you're left with the quarter 20 underneath. And it also has this little wrist strap as well, which is dead cool, because it'll help you to not drop the phone once it's in there. So to get the phone in, we simply unscrew the grip so it opens up, and then we slide the phone in, and then tighten the grip back up again what we have now let me just double check yes we have a very safe grip on the phone as you can see there it's not going anywhere now at the time of doing this video that was about nine pound on amazon so really dead cheap but really good very solid plastic holds the phone dead well and comes with this really cool wrist strap and next up is this one and this is by a company called ulanzi there's two variations of this one the one that i have here is the one that's got the shoe mount on. Same thing, what you do, you basically unscrew it to extend that in and out. We just get the Huawei, slot it in like that, tighten it up again, and then that's that one done. Phone's not going anywhere. Now the thing with this one though, it doesn't have a handle on it, but it's got a quarter 20 mount at the bottom there. So what we can do is get a pistol grip. I mean, to be honest, this is the way I normally use my phones is on this mount with this pistol grip. So what we do, we just put the pistol grip on underneath. I'll try and do this as fast as I can. Okay, so there we have it. So we've now got the pistol grip and the Ulanzi on there. And this particular pistol grip that I'm using is my favourite out of all the pistol grips that I have. This is by a company called Photo Safari. I'll also leave a link to their site in the descriptions below. Now it's all well and good using these when you're outdoors and whatnot, but when you're indoors, you may want to use some kind of a like stand or something. This is why I've got this, which is made by Newer. Again, links in the descriptions. These are around eight pounds to 10 pounds so very cheap again now what i'll do i'll just show you what these look like mounted on here so there is the ulanzi grip on top of the newer little stand and as you can see here it's got a height adjustment so you know you can position this and turn its height up and down and all the rest of it and there's the newer grip as well on the little stand and again you can do the same thing with that you know you can change its height and do what not turn it round and all that stuff and get it into the position that you want to get it in and to the last component of what i would consider to be the best cheap and budget vlogging system for your huawei and that is some way of stopping wind from destroying your dialogue when you're outdoors doing vlogging and what i'm going to recommend for that is the micro wind jammers by Rycoat. They cost around 10 to 11 pound and what I'm going to do now is show you what they look like and how to fix them onto the phone. So inside the package for the Rycoat micro wind jammers you get 30 pads like this which are double sided pads then also you get six of these little wind filters there's only three here because I've used three on other things so on the rear of the phone this little hole here is one of the microphones so what we do we just peel one of the pads off the sheet like this and then line it up over the microphone making sure not to cover it then what you do you just grab the edge here pull it backwards and now that there is the, is the other side of the sticky pad. So now what we do, we just put on one of the little dead cats on the pad and then press down a little bit on the pad. And now that is stuck to the pad really well. So to the second of the microphones and where that is, is on the left hand side on the bottom edge. So what we need to do is just put another pad around that. And then what we do, we just pull the tab on the back 
and then there we go there's the pad and then what we need to do is just add the other wind jammer so now as we can see we've got one wind jammer there and then if we turn it around we have the other wind jammer there and so this is exactly what the system now looks like with the two micro wind jammers on so what i'm going to do now is do two quick examples of with the wind jammers and without them just by blowing into it and i know this isn't going to be like going outside with the wind but my breath should hopefully be enough to show us how it's working okay so this is just a quick example on the phone with the wind jammers so what i'm going to do is just blow into them and now i'm going to cut to doing it without the wind jammers and then it's this one okay so hopefully that's give us a really good idea of how it sounds with and without okay so i hope you've enjoyed this quickie with dave and that you come back for more quickies with dave but before i go i would just like to show you this now what it is this is one of my little rigs that i use with a rode video micro i'm actually going to be doing a video about this on the huawei as well soon as well as a couple of other videos to do with me going out and showing you various ways of vlogging with this and also using a smooth cue gimbal anyway i think i've outstayed my welcome now so the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now